Hello, good day. Today we have the talk on lose weight and deliverance on gluttony. So, okay. Uh, first, I'll start with uh, the most important. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do this talk and this deliverance. And please help me, Holy Spirit, so I can do it the best way that I can and to help the people, to help the people that are watching this. Okay, so let's start real quick with, we got Proverbs 16, 19, 20, and 21. Proverbs 16, 19, and 21. It's actually Proverbs 23. I had it on here with uh, 19, but it's 23, 20, 19 to 21, 23. It says, listen, my son, and be wise and set your heart on the right path. Do not join those who drink too much wine or gorge themselves on meat, for drunkards and glutens become poor and drowsiness clothes them in rags. Yeah, like this goes with laziness and sleeping a lot and stuff like that. So, I mean, they're, they're advising us. This is written from Sa Solomon, Solomon. And he was very wise, so we should take this very much into consideration. Um, okay, so for drunkards and glutens will become poor. I'll explain why it says that too a little bit on, on, on other ones. Uh, but I wanna go to this one. It's a very important one. This one is Isaiah 58, the true fasting. Um, the true fasting, we'll go to 58 on number six. It's not this kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Um, it, is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Um, that was six and seven. And then we'll read the number eight. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Uh, and we could do the nine. Then you will call and the Lord will answer and you will cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you do away with the yoke of oppression with the pointing finger and malicious talk and if you spend yourself in behalf of of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become the noonday. So I know it sounds kind of like strange what, what this is saying, but if you could like pay attention a little bit, maybe read the whole thing in, in, in your own time. It's the Isaiah 58. Read the whole thing. That talks about uh, just the true fasting. Because some people will fast to do other uh, dumb things, to accuse people, to get people in trouble, and to like point the finger at somebody else so they wouldn't be like looked at for what they were doing. But anyways, what the main thing is that on try to do a donation. This is what we get from this. Try to do a small donation of food to the people who are needy and hungry. And what this will do is, from what this is saying, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. Right now, the darkness for us is the gluttony, the overweight, the sugar addiction, all those things. Those are our darkness because those are not allowing us to be healthy, not allowing us to exercise, maybe not allowing us to do a lot of things that we want to do. So this is a this is a good thing. It'll be a good thing. If you can uh, do a donation to whichever uh, profit you want, but something that you think will be good to help the people that are hungry or something like that. So 
What this is going to do is, like I said, it's going to bring light into the darkness, which the darkness is the gluten. And then your light will break forth like the dawn and healing will quickly appear. So healing, we're going to heal from this, this problem that we have. Uh, but um, you know, on the fasting, I, I used to be like, I probably lost like 40 pounds or so because I was so I was overweight um, right now I don't know how much I weigh but I think I lost like 40 maybe 50 pounds or so at one point uh, but kind of went back up a little bit um, and I did it and I'm not saying that I should be like like I'm not giving credit even to myself because mainly the Holy Spirit was the one. I give the glory to the Holy Spirit. I try to give the glory to the Holy Spirit on everything good that's happening in my life. And for everything bad, I take the responsibility. It's just so much easier like that. So just take that for to consider that. So even if you work with your hands, if you say, if you build something that's really amazing, you say, yeah, I did that. I'm Give the glory to the Holy Spirit because he could say like yeah I did your hands and I put the idea in your mind and he's gonna tell you a whole bunch of things although he won't do that like that he's not he's not like that so okay so that was I just didn't want to get off subject but just when you reach your goal remember and give the glory to the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit and the Father because they're the ones who who really did it if you if you know what I mean okay moving right along um Galatians um 5 16 to 26 but I'm just going to do the the 19 it says uh the acts of the flesh are obvious sexual immorality impurity devouchery idolatry and witchcraft Hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissension, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. I know it doesn't say gluttony or overeating, but like drunkenness, orgies, and the like. This is kind of, and the like that could be fitting in right there with the with the gluttony. And plus, anyways, if you look on uh, um, the story of the rich and Lazarus, uh, this was a story, you can read it, it's on Luke um, 16, 19 to 31. I'll tell you a little bit about it real quick. It's a rich man who dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. And um, I think in another translation it says, dined like in luxury every day or something like that but you can understand that and at his gate laid a beggar named Lazarus covered with sores and he was like real hungry longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table and there came a time when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abram's side and the rich man also died and he was buried and he was tormented in Hades uh, that's like um, I guess hell or like uh, Tartarus and he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side and he called to the father father Abraham have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip uh, the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire so he didn't inherit the kingdom of God because he was uh, gluten and a drunkness or, I don't know if he was a drunkness but I'm sure he since he had all that available to him, he didn't do it. But this can, this, uh, uh, he told, Abraham told him, no, remember you, in your lifetime, you received your good things, uh, and Lazarus received bad, bad. So now he's com comforted here, and you're in agony. And uh, if you could read that, uh, you could read that in your own time. It's uh, the Luke 16, 19 to 31. So basically, uh, maybe if you would have just done a good deed and helped uh, Lazarus and give him food, uh, it could have been so much different. And 
uh, basically, that's for the second life, right? But uh, Jesus Christ will have mercy on us if we begin to to show mercy on the people, on the other people who maybe are struggling. Uh, and he can help you in this lifetime too. Like right now, I guess what we're struggling with is the gluttony and the sugar addiction. I say we because I still, I mean, I still have trouble with like controlling myself with the with the food cravings and stuff, especially when I'm fasting. And I do have a video. I'll try to remember to put it on the description. And it's why can't I fast? That's a that's a pretty good video. You could check that out if you like. And uh, that that talks about more about this. But in this one, it's mainly about getting a little bit of deliverance and and knowledge about the gluttony. So talking about that is. Um, yeah, like here, here, here is the Luke on 14, 13 to 14. Luke 14, 13 to 14. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Yeah, so like uh, you'll be repaid at the resurrection. But also for Christ, if you're asking him uh, to do the, uh, to lose some weight or to get rid of the gluten, he, he will do it here. He, he can do that here like we said in Isaiah 58, like uh, what, what it said about. And remember, just because you have the possibility to buy any type of food, like what the rich men have, uh, just uh, try to dominate yourself and dominate the mind. And with this deliverance that we're going to do, it's going to help so much. The Holy Spirit will help us to control those cravings. And once you stop hearing the, uh, I want to eat this or my, the favorite food that you have. I don't know what your favorite food is, but uh, I'm going to show you how to get, get rid of that. Like I'll, I'll show you right now. That way I won't, it won't, like I won't forget it. So like if you have like a chocolate addiction, like you really like chocolate and that's probably what's stopping you from fasting. That could be the strong man of your gluttony or your addiction because that'll lead you to eat more or whatever. So what you do, like if you're doing a fast, uh, you could do, if you start getting the cravings like those, uh, they'll put uh, ads of chocolate or somebody will talk about it. It'll be just like the demons working against you to to get you to fall uh, so you don't do the fast. So what you do is you uh, say, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I bind all chocolate addiction and I command it to leave me now. In the name of Jesus Christ, leave. And it's going to come back. It's going to try to attack you more. So you just keep persevering and you just say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break the curse of addiction to chocolate. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind the strong men of chocolate and I rebuke you demons of chocolate addiction. Um, and just keep going. You, they attack, you attack. And you keep attacking. Even when they're not attacking, you can attack the same way. Like if you know you're going to get a craving at a certain time, attack way before. And they'll, they, they'll be like, we're not even doing anything. And they'll just they'll leave. Sometimes they'll stay um because they think they'll have an opportunity because they're they're stubborn they're they're disobedient and stubborn and and uh like that but you just resist the devil and he must flee but first you must submit to god resist the devil and he must flee okay that's some that's james but i don't have the i should have that like on my uh the ones that i should know by heart but that's in the book of james all right, so I have the right to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will not be mastered by anything. So right now, the gluttony is mastering us. We're going to get rid of that, and we're going to try to master that, obviously, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So, yeah, like I said, if you have, you, you have the right to buy any food or as much food as you want, but... That might not be beneficial. So don't 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 be mastered by it. And with the deliverance will definitely it will definitely help a lot. So okay, I think that's pretty much on the on the ones that we needed to cover on the word of God. 
please do this prayer with me and that way we can uh, I'll, I'll just the prayer and then uh, the deliverance will, will come after uh, just uh, I'll go slow so you can repeat it after me in the name of Jesus Christ father please forgive me for gluttony and for all sins that have brought me to be overweight and food addictions Um, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, please help me break the chains of injustice, untie the cords of the yoke, and break every yoke and remove all obstacle and block that is stopping me from losing weight and fasting. Please, Holy Spirit, help me share food with the poor and the needy in the way that you would like. Help me, please, to listen to you and obey you and allow you to work in me. Amen. Okay. Okay, so, all right, we got that. Okay, now I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll pray a little bit and then I'll start with the deliverance. So you don't have to say anything. You could just receive uh, at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, please help us to get rid of this gluttony spirits and all demons of um, our favorite food. Please help us to get rid of those um, and let the Holy Spirit help us to bind any demons that we're not aware of and remove those demons too. And um, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind all demons uh, of never satisfied, of gluttony, of overeating, never full, eating fast, bad manners, eating with your mouth open, eating with your mouth full. I bind all these demons in me and in the people. And I command those demons to leave now. Let the angels remove you from me and from the people listening to this and doing this deliverance. And let the Holy Spirit decide where you're going to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord rebuke all you demons. Leave. Uh, I also bind demons of obesity, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, sugar addiction, food addiction, self-reward. I deserve it. I'm too fat. Fat spirits. Cake addiction. I like to eat. I bind all these demons in me and all in the people, and I command those demons to leave. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, demons, and uh, let the Holy Spirit decide where you're gonna go. I also bind in the name of Jesus Christ the uh, demons of never enough. I'm hungry. Pride, witchcraft, Leviathan, pig spirits. Stomach pain, indigestion, heartburn. I can't fast. I don't want to fast. I bind all these spirits and I command them to leave me and the people doing this deliverance. The Lord Jesus rebuke you, spirits. Come out now. Uh, spirits, uh, I bind also all the demons of fried food. Uh, I have to eat three meals a day. Eat more so I don't have to have dessert. Bulimia. Chocolate. Sugar addiction. I'm sad, so I deserve a cake or a reward, uh, pizza, fast food. I'm happy, so I deserve a reward. God is the God is in the stomach. All these spirits, I bind you. I bind. Uh, uh, I bind them in me, and I bind them in the people doing this deliverance, and I command them to leave us now. The Lord Jesus rebuke you. Come out now. And out of all these spirits that I mentioned, I bind every strong man working with these spirits. And I break every curse that, that, are, that these spirits are working under. And I do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. And please, Holy Spirit, all the spirits that you want bind it that are, that are blocking us from reaching our goals on the gluttony and on losing our, or reaching our our goal to be healthy and reach our weight 
that we want to be at, please remove them, Holy Spirit, as, as that is, uh, let your will be done in us. And also in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, just remove all those spirits that, that you want removed, please, Holy Spirit, and loose spirits in us. Uh, fasting, healthy eating, eating slow, losing weight, I can achieve it. I can achieve all things through Christ who strengthens me. Exercising, motivation, health, power, humility. Uh, good path. Blood of Jesus. Spirits of sound mind. And... And let all the spirits that you want, Holy Spirit, also the fruit of the Spirit and all the spirits that you want loosed in us, let them be loosed in us as well. And let these spirits replace all the spirits, that, all the demons that we kicked out that, that are not helping us in the getting rid of the gluttony and the losing the weight and all that. Okay, um, thank you so much and let the glory be to the Holy Spirit, the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Bye.